Hey, this is Ellie. Welcome to my Photoshop. Uh, today we're going to look at how to fix those um, thin lines that we sometimes get when we take Second Life photographs that are larger than current window. Now these lines are typically only one pixel wide, um, so the bigger you take your photo to start with, the smaller the lines are going to be in comparison to the rest of your shot. If we take a look at my picture here, I'm going to zoom in on where there is a line and you'll see that it's pretty small until I get close. This is the first adjustment that I do because for it to work, our lines need to be perfectly straight lines. So you can see I haven't gone in here and liquefied and smoothed out the nose because I want that line to be running straight through it. The first technique I'm going to show you is for people who have Photoshop CS5. I'm going to be using something that doesn't exist in earlier versions, but I will get to a way to do this for people who've got earlier versions of the software and maybe other graphics applications, but I'm not really sure. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this background uh, just because I always like to have a backup of what I'm doing. I'm going to drag that background layer to the new layer icon and there I have a second copy. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so we can really see this line. You can see it's one pixel high here and one pixel wide here. There is a selection tool that a lot of people probably don't use and if you look at your uh, Photoshop tools here we have the rectangular marquee and the elliptical marquee which a lot of people use but the single row and single column there are very few uses for this is one of them. I'm gonna take the single row marquee tool and select one row of pixels and I'm gonna do that by clicking right here at the top of my yucky line. Now you can see it's not quite in the right place so I'm just gonna use my arrow key to nudge it down one pixel. Another thing that's a problem is that those marching ants, the outline, kind of gets in the way of what I want to see. So I'm going to hide that. If you're on a PC, Control H. If you're on a Mac, Command H. What that does is hide your selection. Now, the selection is still there, so a half an hour from now when you try to do something and you wonder why it doesn't work, it might be because you have this hidden selection you forgot to deselect. Just a warning. So, this line here is selected. We just can't see it because that's hidden. But now is where the magic is. Edit. Fill. And there is this wonderful option called Content Aware. Content Aware looks at the pixels around what you want to fill and kind of averages them together and fills in that space. So Content Aware, I'm going to move this out of the way so that you can see what happens. Check out this magic. Takes a second. The line is gone. Now I'm going to zoom out so you can see the nose where that line went through before and I'm just going to undo and redo. So undo, here's that line. Goes all the way across the face. And I'm going to redo that. Now it's not perfect. Sometimes you might wind up with little um, artifacts left from it, but they're much easier to deal with than a full line. I'm going to zoom back in and I can take now the single column marquee tool, do the same thing. Select it. I got a good one this time. I don't have to adjust it. I'm going to hide that selection with Control H or Command H just so I can see better. And then Image, I'm sorry, Edit, Fill, Content Aware, OK. Takes a few seconds. And now it's gone. Seriously, it's like magic. I get so excited about this. If I zoom out, I can turn off that layer I adjusted and back on so that you can see the fix. You can see even in complicated areas like the eye where there's a lot of detail and I would go in and fix that later, it totally fixes it. Ah, here's a good example of where it's not perfect, right, in the eyebrow there and the eyelashes, but seriously, if you are looking that close at your picture, then you're even crazier than me. All right, let me zoom out here. Um, that's the method for 
CS5 users. There are probably going to be more lines in your picture. I'm not going to zoom in and look at everything because I think that gets the point across. Um, but that's it. Really easy. Now, if you are using Photoshop prior to CS5, you do not have the content aware fill. Um, don't be fooled. You might look under the edit window and find this content aware scale. That has absolutely nothing to do with it. If you go under fill and you do not see content aware, you're going to need to use a different method and I'm going to show that now. Okay, for those of you who are working with earlier versions of Photoshop, you can still fix this. It's just going to take a few more steps. It's not much more difficult, but it does take a little bit more. So I'm going to I'm going to get rid of that layer where I fixed it up pretty with CS5, and I'm going to zoom in and bring us back to our ugly little lines. I'm going to use that same marquee tool. Um, what I want to do here is I'm going to pull, I'm going to kind of manually do what the content aware fill does. I'm going to pick a line of pixels directly above or directly below and I'm going to use that to cover the glitch that we get from SL. So let's get in real close here. Okay, so I've got just my background layer and I've selected a line above where my problem is. Um, I can take a copy of this line and let's see, I think it's Control J on Windows and Command J on the Mac. Now, if you look at my layers palette here, you can see there's a new layer. What that control J or command J has done, I'm going to turn off my background, is copy just that line you can see right here to its own layer. I'm going to put this background back on. I'm going to make sure that layer is selected. I'm going to choose the move tool and with the arrow on my keyboard, I'm going to move that line down one there it is. Now sometimes the bottom line instead of the top line will be better. If there's a lot of detail here sometimes it won't be a perfect match but in a case like this it works pretty well. Let's go and see um, about doing this vertical line. I gotta go back to the background because that's where I'm gonna pull the information from. I'm going to take a single column marquee I'm going to select a line of pixels next to the glitch, Control J on a window, or Command J on a Mac. You can see that I've got now another layer here. I can take my Move tool and then cover it. The test is going to be when I scroll up to that eye, did that kind of mess things up? Let's see. Oh, we got to definitely scroll back a little bit for that. Okay. You can see this line right here is an artifact of that fix, but it's certainly better than that. And there you go. That's your fix, whether you're using CS5 or earlier. This is a an easy enough fix for even a basic Photoshop user to do. Uh, one thing to remember is that because these glitches are usually a single pixel high or a single pixel wide, the larger your image is to start with, the smaller that line will be in the grand scheme of your image. So if you can't stick to the current window size, you need big, go as big as your computer will let you take without crashing, and then one of these fixes should, um, should be good enough. Uh, I hope this helped. Have a good one.